Hello, welcome to part five of things that I think every man should understand. Stop calling women females, like like the noun. Most women don't like that. Like, look at these females over here. Most women hate that shit. It's a very dehumanizing way to refer to somebody. You never hear us say, hey, listen, male. Like, that's, that's not a thing. Also, there's so many things that can be described as female. This cat is female. This headphone jack is female. A female human is called a woman. Refer to them as such, the exact same way we do with men. Unless they ask you to refer to them as something else, in which case you respect that. Because as I said in part one, respect is the default. While we're on that topic real quick, pronouns are not hard. When someone changes the way they refer to themselves, we know how to respect that. When someone gets married, in the military is whenever someone gets a rank change. We've been calling a man Vin Diesel for over 20 years with no problem. His name is Mark. You can figure out they them, I promise you. Dating or marrying somebody doesn't mean that consent is assumed. It's very important to have a communicated understanding of consent, whatever that looks like in your relationship. You don't ever want to be in a situation where you were intimate with your partner and they didn't want to do that. Therapy is not a weakness. Being emotionally mature is not a weakness. Having empathy is not a weakness. We as men need to stop worrying about everything being gay. The only thing that's gay is sexual acts with the same sex. That's the end of the list. We gotta stop acting like nail polish or the color pink is gonna make you wanna smash the homies. The most masculine you'll ever feel is when you're doing what feels right for you.